weather has been so nice out here over the past week or two that Jeffrey and I have been able to get some jobs done in the backyard. We got a farmer to deliver a load of wood. He dumped it in our driveway and Chris and Jackson had to bring it all back um, so we can have campfires in our backyard. And so we built way over there a little lean-to we call it to put the wood in so it stays dry and we moved the fire pit. We moved to this house a little over a year ago and the fire pit was too close to the fence on that side and the shed. So we moved the fire pit and put bricks all around it and we wanted to try it out. And I said, Jeff, if we're gonna test out this new fire pit, I wanna tell some stories to the kids. So let's start by shake, shake, shaking with the jambe drum. Can you hear the fire crackling beside me? Listen close, let's be present. I can hear the fire crackling and sizzling. And I hear birds chirping too in the neighborhood. And of course, Paisley is out here too, right Paisel? Hey babes, can you come and say hi to the kids? Come here, come here, hello, hello. There's Miss Paisley girl, yes. Mwah. Okay, go play, go get your ball. And now, let's read some stories. This first story is a classic from when I was a little girl. And did you know that when I was a little girl, I went to a manual school too. And I like to read The Paper Bag Princess, written by Robert Munch. So good. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burned was a paper bag. So she put on that paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true? said Elizabeth, that you can burn up 10 forests with your fiery breath? Oh yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge deep breath 
and breathed out so much fire that he burned up 50 forests. <sighs> Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath <sighs> and breathed out so much fire that he burned up 100 forests. <sighs> Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath. <gasps> but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the whole world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he lay down and went straight to sleep. <laughs> Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon. The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear, put her head right inside, and shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon. The dragon was so tired that he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes, your hair is all tangled, and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back again when you are dressed like a real princess. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. You know, that was pretty rude of Ronald. Of course Elizabeth didn't have clothes. They were all burned up by the dragon and she found a paper bag to wear so she could go and save him. Elizabeth did the right thing. And then Ronald was rude to her and gave her put-downs about what she was wearing. It's okay to be different, Ronald. We know that. Todd Parr taught us. Elizabeth must have been feeling pretty angry and frustrated because she called Ronald a name that was not nice. That's also a put-down. It's not okay to give put-downs even when you're feeling frustrated and upset. But sometimes everybody makes mistakes. So it's important to think about, even if you do make a mistake and give a put down, you can give an apology. An apology means I'm sorry. It kind of works like a band-aid, right? To try to make things a bit better when you've done something that's not okay. And speaking of mistakes, check out this book. It's another Todd Parr book. It's called it's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. We just have to make sure that we learn from them or try to fix it. It's okay if you spill your milk. You can always clean it up. And isn't this nice? The cat and the dog are working together to clean it up. So nice. It's okay to try a different direction you might discover something new. It's okay to not know the answer. Asking questions helps you to learn. It's okay to get upset. Your friends are there to cheer you up. It's okay to fall down. You can always get back up. It's okay to wear two different socks. Others might try it too. We know it's okay to be different. It's okay to forget your umbrella. You might meet someone new. It's okay to change your mind. 
Oh, oh. Everyone is ready at a different time. It's okay to get mech. It's okay to get mixed up. You can always ask for help. It's okay if you are clumsy. You might invent a new move. It's okay to get dirty. A bubble bath is lots of fun. It's okay to be shy. Being quiet can make you a good listener. It's okay to color outside the lines. It's good to follow your own path. Everyone has uh-oh moments. That's how you learn. It's okay to make mistakes sometimes. Everyone does, even grown-ups. That's how we learn. The end. Love, Todd. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me at the fire. See you next time. Bye-bye.